friends so the today's topic is on club monthly report so how the club monthly report has to be generated and how easy or how difficult it is to do the whole process of uh, the club monthly report and how is it going to be helpful for you so the topic is very clear and but before doing the club monthly report what is all covered in the club monthly report let's just understand that and so typically every pres club president in the end of the month or end of every month has to submit a report to the governor and ag so instead of you do manually entering this data and saying okay this is what our club has done it is more of your clubs the whole report so which covers four major points one all the projects the club has done the meetings the club has done and the change of members the club has and any contribution of trf or anything the club has done in the specific month or members of a club has done a specific month so this is a focused discussion on that so now how this can be generated and how we can save time in doing it so friends before getting into the club monthly report understand one thing in rotary india the concept is everything that you do starting from july 1st your pro, uh, meeting starts let's say your installation starts you need to enter the information about installation there you need to enter about the first project that your club is doing there and the same time uh, in case any uh, trf contribution is which is happening is my voice clear and audible because sir, someone says there is it's not clear is it audible can someone we can hear. clear no yeah so maybe uh sonu prakash you i think you may have to uh restart your uh, this thing so there is no problem so the whole focus here is getting this report done so friends understand one thing when there was no technology like rotary india was existing all this had to be done manually now the concept here is we are avoiding this headache of doing this process manually we are doing this completely in the system where generation of this club monthly report actually does not take more than three minutes so that's how the uh, process is so now i'm going to explain how we are going to do it can i have any specific club name where you already done some projects and uploaded then you know i can generate a club monthly report for your club so anybody who wants to uh who wants me to generate their club's report you can just name the club of yours i can do that neil giris sunil is always active here so i'll get into your club i hope everybody knows how to log into rotary india so let me start from there so it is you need to go to rotary india.org type your login id and password and of course you don't get this screen you directly get into your club in this page so this is the page that you get now before generating this club monthly report the action that we need to do is whether there is any clubs club services done that means any meetings are done any speaker meeting assemblies and first we need to enter it here and then all the community service vocation service in the data so i'll just show you this for a second so in the club service example you can see this you know they already added a project of uh, meeting of june 4th that is two days back sorry yesterday's meeting is already here added in this so now in case you have done any meeting in the specific month imagine i'm just generating a report for the month of uh, may now so it will automatically pick up this data so but in case you're not added you can very well add it here same way in the community service you can go and add all the project which comes under the community service in case your project comes under vocational international or new generation you can also add that including the public image initiative now when i click on the club monthly report now let me show you how it functions great this club has not done it i can very well show you he's already done the club month report for me so i need a club who has not done it 
this club has already done it anyway. Before going further, I will show you the report of this particular club. So they will understand how beautiful the report is generated. Then I will go to some other club. Who I can have any other name of the club where to generate a club monthly report. But before going further, I want to show you. I am just sharing the club monthly report. Look at a club monthly report generated by the Nilgiri's club. So now I have the entire data here. On Saturday 1st of June at 10.49 p.m. Sunil Goyal, who is already in this meeting, has already generated this club monthly report and it also picks up the data like who is assistant governor of your club and how many members your club has got. Even the average attendance of your club is also automatically picked up. And now then the data, like how, how many club surveys which was done in the month of uh, July, I mean May. And then board of directors meeting which is done on the May. Then comes community service projects which is done in the company. And any changes of members which is done in the specific month. Now this is a PDF file. So this is what is generated in the system. So now I am going to go to some other club who has not generated a club monthly report for a specific month. So Sunil ji, sorry, I can't show you because I want to create that. Okay, I'm going to the club of uh, Adarsh. Or let me just check the club. I'm seeing the Bangalore HSR. Very good. I have more opportunities in this club. Now, I'm in the Rotary Club of Bangalore HSR. Sri Kumar, can I get you on the screen? Shikuru, I'm trying to unmute you. Yeah, good evening. Okay. Good evening. So now I'm just sharing your club details with everybody. Now, I'm directly going into the club monthly report. Okay, so now when I click on the club monthly report, look at the images here. It says they have submitted the club monthly report up to the month of March. Shikumar, can you see this? Now you can see July, there's a button called a download here and the create button is disabled. Can you see that? Did you mute yourself again? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So what the report tells us now is in the year 23-24, this club has submitted the report from July to March. Why? Because the creation button is disabled for the month of up to March and I can only download it or I can edit it. Now I am creating the monthly report for the month of April. So I am clicking on the button April button. So when I clicked on that April, so now it picked up the data directly. In the month of April, what all things is done in the club? Can you see this? I can see in the month of April, there are two meetings happened and there is a board of directors meeting happened and an assembly happened. Now, imagine when I'm doing this, I suddenly remembered, oh shit, in, the month, in this month, I had five meetings instead of four meetings. Examples that that particular meeting is, say regular meeting. I can go here and add that meeting. That means I'm actually checking before going to the next step whether all the meetings on the month of April is are, are added or not in this list. Imagine that you want to edit something or you want to add a meeting. I can go here and add a new meeting for the month of April. Now, if at all, I don't need to do that. I can go back. Takes time. Yeah, that is one big problem here. Yeah. yeah, no, in this uh, club loan the report actually start generating the report. So that is it takes a bit time. Yeah. Okay, so now and at the same time, when I okay, now I find that everything is fine. 
can you see this? Certain things I can't change. I can't change the name of the club. I can't change anything because all these are fixed data. Now I'm going to the next step. My meeting is done. Is any contribution of TRF done in the specific month? Imagine there is some. I can go here and enter it. Example, say in the month of uh, April. For example, I'm not entering this data. Sri Kumar. Nayar paid 1000 USD for example say annual fund and if I click on add this gets added to that list so I'm not adding it now so so that means any changes in the uh, TRF that has to be done it is I can add it there now when I click next, it automatically showed the list of projects done in the month of April. I have not filtered separately for April. Only thing is I clicked on the club monthly report of April and I automatically picked up the projects of April. Now you can see five projects here. I can go further and see there are total six projects in this club which has already been added. But again, I suddenly remember we have not done six, we have done seven projects. Example. I can go here and add a new project. It instead of going into the same button where the project is, I can go and add it here too. It will come here. Now, can you see this button here on the thing? Even if I do a project and that project belongs to a community service project or international service or a public image initiative, even that gets filtered here and listed here. So that means when you add a project in any of those avenue of service, it comes here automatically. Now let's assume that I don't have to add any project. I'm going further. Click on the save and next. Now it says the club in the last month there are 43 people and members deleted and added is zero. So this is coming from Rotary International's data. But imagine there is an error in the Rotary International data. You have terminated some member but you're not deleted there. You want to add edit it here. You can also do that. Imagine I'm just showing you. I terminated two members and added three members example so automatically the number will change it to 44 of course it is not true then in the last button I have an option to write any additional achievement or a participation or hosting of events or a projects done by the club example say now you are your club is a host club for a specific event or Something which is not part of the projects list, not project the club meetings list, not project a part of the membership or a TRF list, but you want to add that data here because you want that to be known to AG as well as DG about achievement of a club can also be added here. So Sri Kumar, do you want anything to be added for the month of April here? Looks like he again. Don't mute yourself because you will not want to unmute yourself. Yeah. So. Yeah. Do you have anything to be added I here? Check because we we have updated till till May. I'm, no, I'm that sorry. thing is not done. Maybe but, you are updated only up to March. Uh, the list was showing up to March. So that means April is not done. So, but you want to write anything here now? No, no, no. Okay. Now I'm clicking and saving and generating the report. In fact, and I want to ask one more question after this. Yeah. So now you can see the record created in the system. The entire monthly report is created for the month of April with all the data as if you are doing it in the month of May. Now, after doing this, the next button is upload to district. You can do that from the top or down. When I click on upload to district, this wow. report gets uploaded to the district. That means a copy of it will go to the district governor of your district and to the assistant governor of your district. Plus, a copy will also go to the admins of the club. That means you will also get an email with a copy of this. So now can you see this button? The April month, which is showing the create button now will become disabled and you have option to edit and download. Why edit and download? So 
what it means is imagine that you have done a project today i mean a, a, a club monthly report today and you sent it to ag example or you downloaded yourself and then you found that oh shit i forgot to add a, a project there you can go edit it and regenerate the club monthly report so another copy of the report will go to the governor now i want everybody to see this report how do i see it myself i just have to click on the download button the report gets downloaded now can you see this it is generated on 5th of june at 7 50 pm and because i have done it it also shows my name here oh, okay okay so because it is done through my login so why we are doing this is so you will come to know which login id has generated the club monthly report or edited the club monthly report Blinker. yeah so now this entire report is here now friends look at this report it's a crude newsletter of your club without the photograph but a clean information see this also can be shared to all the members of a club so all the new presidents here i'm just asking a simple question to you you can message me in the chat i am president yeah you are the president for next year right yeah okay so now a simple thing imagine on the july 31st you just generate this report and send it to all the club members saying that this is the monthly progress of our club. It is additional to a newsletter. Don't get confused with the newsletter. So imagine you do this. It's so clean and organized. A simple report gets generated and you can share it to the club. Now, there is one more button here. Sorry. Can you see a button called as club export to uh, report to Excel? So now when I click on this, it generates an Excel sheet. Look at this. Now it gives a very clean, is it clearly clean by everybody? We don't get an image. Huh? No, you got an image, the PDF you got it. In the uh, club month report, we don't share the uh, photograph. It's only a report. Now, can you see this? I just generated this report, which said from July month onwards, the <laughs> progress of your club. How many meetings you have done, the TRF collection, the pro number of projects you have done, the cost of the project, number of beneficiaries, man hours, rotarians involved for every month. Now it gives a complete total. How many meetings your club has done till the month of April is 46. The TRF collection, whatever you entered is seen here. Number of projects that your club has done, the cost, every data is in the report here. So even this, imagine a DG is coming to your club and you want to show it to him or, you know, it's very easy to generate this report and show it. You know, it's like a small analytics of your club. 